my name is Caitlin and I am studying Chemical and Environmental Engineering at the University of Queensland. I chose to study at UQ because I fell in love with the campus when I visited during school excursions and my siblings' graduation ceremonies. I loved the UQ Lake, I loved the Great Court and the Advanced Engineering Building. I chose Chemical and Environmental Engineering because I wanted to work in the sustainability sector. I saw that UQ offered Environmental Engineering and you either had to pair that with Chemical or Civil and I chose Chemical just because I liked chemistry in class. When I first started my degree, I honestly wasn't quite sure of what chemical engineering was. It took me a few months to fully grasp the concept. Basically, it's the physical application of chemistry, physics and maths on design, decision making and construction, as well as improving energy and material processes. For my dream career, I would love to work in resource recovery or the waste management industry. That could include wastewater treatment plants or beneficial reuse from waste streams. So examples of this could be producing biogas from wastewater and producing electricity or using sugarcane waste to produce bioethanol. I'm also really passionate about mine rehabilitation and I would love to work on a big project where a mine is returned to its natural landscape. My favourite UQ experience so far was definitely the Gladstone study tour at the beginning of my second year. It was really good to see Rio Tinto's aluminium refinery as well as Santos's LNG project. We got to chat to industry experts and get an insight into what a career in chemical engineering would really be about. My overall university experience at UQ has been a lot of fun, a lot of learning, and a lot of meeting friends and connecting with other people. UQ is not just about what you're studying, it's about the environment and the community that you form. This could be volunteering, societies, sports, charities, and UQ just really offers a well-rounded education.